It's being called one of New Jersey's natural spectacles. A tiny town along the Delaware Bay shore is home to a mass migration of birds that reaches into the tens of thousands. Ed Rogers flocks to the scene in tonight's environment report. The scallop boats leave at nightfall from Morristown as they have for centuries along the Delaware Bay. But even before that, another occurrence begins. You see it start atop the steeple of the town's Methodist church. Purple Martins begin their flight into the nearby marshes. They're on their August migration to Brazil. They've been foraging for food all day. Contrary to popular belief, they don't eat mosquitoes. Dragonflies, bees, and beetles make up their diet. This is Cumberland County, New Jersey. I mean, there are more insects here than almost any place that I know. So these are insect-eating birds. They're drawn here to fatten up. And then at night, they've got a safe place where they can put down and roost. It goes almost unnoticed in the subline remoteness of this area. As night falls, the sky over this marsh begins to blacken with the martins. They come from as far as 30 miles away. There have been no exact counts, but by one estimate, more than 70,000 probably fly in by nightfall. There may only be one other gathering of purple martins of this size on the Atlantic coast. Even if you don't know what animals are, great aggravations just draw us. The wildebeest, the caribou, bison, purple martins. We just love it. And I come out here because uh, this is something very special. It's very uh, unique to this area. Uh, there's something special about New Jersey. Uh, and actually, as far as New Jersey goes, I, I know of no state that houses more great natural spectacles than New Jersey does not have purpley. Purple Martin numbers have been dropping for the last 80 years. Experts haven't pinpointed the exact cause of the decline. Word of the massive Martin movement has spread. People assemble on the bridge into Morristown each night to watch. Okay, so let's get in the car, find this place, and check out this amazing phenomenon that they're talking about. The people who live here in Morristown have embraced the Purple Martins. That's because they fit in with the historic and natural character of this small village. The people uh, who live on the Bay Shore, um, their lives in the natural world have, have been intertwined, have overlapped for over 300 years. So the people here are really conscious of uh, their natural endowment. Uh, they don't uh, promote it. Um, they don't have any reason to promote it. They, they essentially live it. Libby Truitt moved to Morristown, it's spelled like the name Maurice, 12 years ago. She's hooked on the place and the Martins. I think they're a big part of the community. A lot of uh, People have put up houses. A lot of people do banding and tracking. This migration will last for a few more weeks. Ed Rogers, NJN News, Morristown.